Did Ariadne bring the new models today? Yeah, she did. But I noticed something with Ariadne. Don't you think her attitude towards Emma is a bit off? Ah, <sighs> they have a history with each other. Keep in mind that Ariadne doesn't know I've signed Emma. Gonna announce it in a few days. The show director was surprised to hear that. He felt bad for the new model Ariadne who was totally ruining Charlotte's trust in her, while headstrong Emma was ready to cause a stir with her unbreakable spirit. No matter how impressive Emma seems right now, that ragged model only has a few more years of glory. But you guys still have a long career ahead of you. Mark my words, that loser Emma will never be a part of Age World. Ariadne, I'm not sure about Emma's glorious years, but I know if you continue to mess with her, she will definitely crush your glorious life forever. Not a chance. Don't think I've got too much to worry about. I've said it before, and I'll say it again. There's no way she'll be joining H-World. Wait and watch. She's being awfully confident. Sure, she's close to Charlotte, but she shouldn't forget Charlotte's still the CEO. No wonder she decided to sign Emma without telling anyone. All she wanted to do was create a mess. Well, you may not know this, but I'm friends with your CEO. I'll treat you with respect, but when you're at one of my shows, I don't want to see you mess with Emma. I'll speak about this to Charlotte myself. Emma leaned on Eric's shoulder and embraced him. Her beloved husband was the only person who could make her feel safer and at ease. Charlotte wanted me to teach Ariadne a lesson, but instead I made her even more arrogant. I'm sure someone like Charlotte would have predicted this outcome and actually expected you to inflate her ego. We often do things like this to teach our staff a lesson. When they've gone too far, this is the only way to teach them a lesson. That makes sense. If you're trying to persuade someone, no method is better than making them suffer a fall. Are you tired? I'm fine. Back when I was in France, I once spent 12 hours changing clothes. This is nothing in comparison. She wrapped her arms around Eric's waist and whispered in his ear. Can't you tell I just want you to admire me? Let me admire you then. After arriving home, the couple had a quick shower and settled into bed, ready to unwind. As the glow from the TV illuminated the room, the words Mini Emma flashed across the screen, sparking a reaction from Eric. This Ariel Lewis has become quite active. Looks like Star Age is promoting her so she can go on variety shows. But I can't do something to her just because I don't like hearing Mini Emma. If I do, people will say I'm petty for getting worked up over a nickname. After all, Ariel's only 16. In the public's eyes, she's a child and should be treated gently. Don't tell me she still considers herself a child. I don't want you to get involved in this. I'm sure Charlotte's more uncomfortable with this than you are. That's why she arranged the grand contract signing ceremony. I think part of her intention is to remind Star Age not to go too far. For someone like Ariel, who can't even be considered a proper opponent, I'm not going to waste any time on her. She's too young. She may be young, but her methods are pretty mature. Naturally, Eric didn't need to step in, but he didn't want Ariel to think that after riding on Emma's success, she won't have to face the consequences. Despite Star Age's plan for Ariel to surpass Emma, winning approval from Emma's fans was crucial. Even though she's now with H-World, I can still offer her strong support, especially in managing her fans. If Charlotte doesn't act soon, my patience might wear thin. The next morning, the news of Zelda bringing her uncle to try to snatch back the opening was exposed. Of course, the big shot actor mentioned was also ridiculed. It seemed absurd for a highly respected figure in the film and television industry to push someone aside just to please his niece. Zelda had managed to take back the opening, but what good was that if she was destroyed by gossip in the end? Emma sure is narrow-minded. I can't believe she won't let go of such a small matter. How can she talk about Emma that way and not realize she's exactly the same? I also watched last night's show. Emma's performance was so good that I don't think I have the words to describe it. So are you regretting that you agreed to help me prevent Emma from joining H-World? That's in the past already. If you have time, you should spend it on training some newcomers. They'll be a better challenge for Emma than anything else. Have you considered what will happen if she signs with another company? Well, once you've done something, you can't turn back. Ariadne had never expected that Emma would rise up so quickly and be so difficult to control and suppress. I'm not only in a situation that I can't turn back from, I think I've finally met an opponent who's equal to me in scheming. There are times when I just don't understand you. At least I'm not as fake as you. 
Richard, sit here. Hearing this name, a guilt flashed on Ariadne and Lucas's faces. Why has she invited this person back? Richard Collins had been both an artist and a manager at H-World. He'd supported many famous superstars and was once Charlotte's business partner. Two years ago, after his relationship with one of his artists was exposed, he seemed to give up on everything and left New York to return to his hometown. I'm so happy that Richard is returning to H-World. Charlotte, I never said I would come back. Don't tell me you want me to work with a bunch of horrible people. Ariadne and Lucas's faces tightened in nervousness. Richard, dressed in a black suit, was quite handsome, but he tended to come across as uncaring and lazy. Oh, you'll come back, my dear friend. Go wait for me in my office. I have something to show you. She hadn't seemed surprised that he'd say something like that. Perhaps she'd anticipated it all along. The newcomers are quite attractive, but they still require professional training. Do you want Richard to take charge of the training? No, he can't take new models at the moment. I'll leave that responsibility with the two of you. If Charlotte doesn't want Richard to take over the training, why did she bring him back? Charlotte, of course, wasn't going to reveal all her cards at once. Feeling impatient? If there's something you want to say, go ahead and say it. Charlotte pulled out Emma's information and handed it to Richard. I want you to manage this model. You know I don't manage artists anymore, especially not women. Just have a look first before you decide anything. He grabbed the documents impatiently and then watched the video clips that Charlotte had prepared. He was stunned by Emma's mesmerizing talent and beauty. Doesn't her aura resemble Celine's? By the way, I've already signed her. The paperwork was completed just a few days ago, but I haven't officially announced it. Even Ariadne and Lucas don't know about it. Tomorrow, I plan for Emma to make an appearance at a perfume endorsement event. Go tell her about it and take this opportunity to become acquainted with her. No matter how much her aura resembles Celine, she's merely a poor imitation. Back when Emma was famous, your Celine was nothing. I want you to promise me that you'll at least consider this carefully. Richard gave a nod as he left Charlotte's office, implying his willingness to go ahead with the plan. I've just emailed your new manager's resume to you. Read through it carefully. This person is very capable, but he's a little wild. If you can tame him, you'll become even more powerful. All Emma really wanted was someone loyal to her. But since Charlotte had already made arrangements, she felt like she couldn't refuse. Fine, I'll have a look. Charlotte had no idea that in reality, Richard didn't want anything to do with the endorsement event and had no intention of contacting Emma. Richard's decision not to tell Emma about the event is going to bring a big crisis for both H-World and Emma. Will Richard get along with Emma? What are Charlotte's true intentions behind bringing Richard back? How will Emma deal with this crisis? Hi guys, Emma here. Don't let your excitement die. The full audio series is on the Pocket FM app. Tap the link in the description to install now.